Hello, Cosmos Country, and I'm here live with another uh, post game discussion. We're going to discuss on tonight's live Google Hangout. We are going to discuss the Cosmos draw against Minnesota against Minnesota United. That match was a very difficult one, a very tough one. Minnesota United pressured the Cosmos, were aggressive, had a great defense. We're just in front of the New York Cosmos every touch of the ball that the Cosmos had. Uh, and that, while the Cosmos had a difficult time controlling the tempo of the match, uh, controlling how they want to play, having possession of the ball, which is the Cosmos style of play. Also, the Minnesota United's first goal, Pablo Combo scored. And Combo is a very talented player, a striker that is a very dangerous one in the league. He was injured but came back uh, and is now 100%. But that goal, it was really easy. It was an easy goal, but the Cosmos defense was not blocking him, was not watching uh, really anyone on that free kick. So you could say that it was lucky. You could say that the Cosmos defense was shaky then, but they had to fix their defense after that free kick, after that goal. They had to control their defense. Uh, they couldn't be shaky throughout the match because if they were, if they continued to not be a strong back line, then they would have gave up a lot more goals. And Minnesota United had a lot of chances. Uh, and the defense was there to be a strong back line. And, and after that goal, they got so much better. And that was great. And that's why the Cosmos held on. And in the final minutes of the match, the 90th minute, Andres Flores, you could call him the super sub, uh, but Andres Flores is um, subbed in, comes in, 90th minute. This is where the action starts for the New York Cosmos. He shoots a long ball into the box, a lucky uh, strike if so someone can get a head on it. And Raul gets his head on it, gets control of the ball, and heads it right in for an equalizer which was great as a, a Cosmo supporter out there really struggling as a team right there against Minnesota United. Your team is not playing very well against a Minnesota side where they have been shaky at times. And now they have been playing very well. And they showed that against the Cosmos. And the Cosmos tied it up to get a point, which if you were hoping for a win, which all Cosmos supporters were hoping for a victory against Minnesota United, but with, the, with United scoring the first goal, Cosmos struggling, that point is very important. It's important because... Even though they didn't win, even though they didn't get the three points, they didn't clinch the spring championship this week, which I, I was hoping that they were if they would have got the victory against United. But we all knew it was going to be a difficult match. Every time the Cosmos go down to NC Stadium in Blaine, Minnesota, it is always a difficult time. The Cosmos had a last chance after the match to hope for a Indy 11 victory but they ended up tying as well so the fixtures did not go well for the cosmos so their last hope to claim a spring championship is their last home game the last spring season match of the season against the jacksonville armada and that is a home match played at james short stadium so make sure you're there when the cosmos claim their spring championship Moving forward, we're going to discuss should Andres Flores, should Sebastian Gonzalez, should Haji Wright 
be included in the starting 11. Maybe not Haji right yet. Maybe he may be included on the bench. But Flores, every time he's on the pitch against Carolina, scoring the equalizer goal this past Saturday in Minnesota, being involved, leading the assist for the equalizing goal. Should Andres Flores get a taste of first-team action? Should he get, get a taste of being in their starting 11? I think he should. I think he earned it by being that super sub, by being the, the best player to bring on. But Gio is going to go with the hot hand. And I don't see the starting 11 changing anytime soon, but he is a dependable sub. And that's what the Cosmos need. They need a sub that they can bring on, and he will provide that spark, which he does. He provides a spark that that he's a playmaker, and he sets up the play. The Cosmos are currently in Cuba. And they are going to play their match against the Cuban national team tomorrow, Tuesday, May, uh, June 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern. You can catch that match live on One World Sports, on ESPN2 as well, which is a great uh, thing to see, the Cosmos match, especially an international friendly on One World, uh, on ESPN2. But there is some news about the trip to Cuba. They're getting a lot of media hype. Which is great, great for the Cosmos. A lot of exposure for pe people to know that, that that the Cosmos are a soccer team in New York. For soccer fans that just don't know about the Cosmos, or just um, American sport fans that just don't know about their local soccer team. So that's great about this exposure. Also. Some notable people are on the plane as well, going to Cuba. Carmelo Anthony, the New York Cosmos, uh, the New York Knicks star player. Carmelo Anthony was on the plane and is currently with the Cosmos in Cuba. He is going to take in the match as well as play was one of the, no was one of the no notable people on the plane. So you may ask, why is Carmelo Anthony on the plane? Why is he uh, traveling with the Cosmos to Cuba? And there is tons of speculation. There is tons of rumors. Uh, people have their own theories. We are not going to get to why he's on the plane. If you want to know why, if you want to know my theory or my thoughts of why he's on the plane, why he's traveling with the Cosmos, because in my opinion, I think he's a Cosmos a Cosmos supporter. I think he should, or he's going to be a Cosmos supporter after this trip. So if you want to hear my thoughts about just the whole thing about Cosmos to Cuba, where you're going to talk to people that were on the trip, on the ground there in Cuba, and we're going to have a lot more coverage for you when the Cosmos are in Cuba right now. So follow us on Twitter at one team pod. We're going to have complete coverage of the Cuban national team match against the Cosmos. Pictures and uh, live action from Cuba, from supporters on the ground in Cuba. We hope that uh, they play a very competitive match, and hopefully it is. It is probably going to be a sellout. We saw some pictures with people lining up to buy tickets. So great sign. Uh, and just, it, it's great for the Cuban people to be excited about something, be excited to see the New York Cosmos, excited to see an American team come to their country. So my name is John Frashante. I'm tuning out. If you want to know more about Camille Anthony and you, and you may want to know why he's on the trip, we're going to talk to some people about maybe why he went, uh, and just get in depth with that. You can tune into our podcast, the first team podcast, every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can follow us on Twitter at One Team Pod. Like us on Facebook, the first team podcast. Follow us on Instagram, Google Plus as well, and subscribe on YouTube as well. If you have any questions, you can, you can leave a comment below. 
and we will discuss your comments, your questions, anything that you leave below. We, we will discuss that on the next show. And as always, that's all Cosmos.